experience. Um, I think the key stretch, Mike, was the end of the second quarter. They closed 18 to 4. And, and I thought that gave them separation. You don't want to play from behind in this building against that team. Um, and then to your point, they called a timeout. We we're up 11 8 in the third quarter, hanging with it, staying, staying there. But um, we gave up 21 points on 11 turnovers. 11 turnovers is a great number in a playoff game, but they scored every time. <laughs> We only gave up 10 offensive rebounds, but they scored 20 points. That is 41 of their points off turnovers and offensive rebounds. And to your point in that third quarter, that was a key stretch. Third quarter, they, I believe they had five offensive rebounds for 12 points in that quarter alone. I think we had four turnovers for eight points. So 20 of their points in that quarter came off things that we can control. Um, we did a poor job guarding the three tonight, uh, 16 threes. Uh, we gave up too many to, obviously, Jordan Poole and Clay. Uh, and then the fouling. I mean, the free throw discrepancy, they got their 29 to our 13. Uh, we must do a much better job of defending without fouling, namely Jordan Poole, uh, who, who played a great game tonight. And then I know coming into this, you said you wanted to limit their three-point uh, shooting and their attempts. Where do you think the breakdowns were? I think 16 to 35 for them. Yeah, I mean, it's the attempts is pretty good. I mean, uh, they're a team that likes to shoot into the 40s. So... We did a decent job of limiting the attempts, but we just had too many breakdowns within the game plan. Um, as I mentioned to our players all week, as I mentioned to you guys pregame, um, we can't beat ourselves and the Warriors in the same game. And we did that tonight. Whether it was the 41 points off turnovers and rebounds, whether it was uh, blown coverages, like there was a blown coverage where we should have guarded a play a certain way, we don't. And then we... Um, we, we even make matters worse by fouling Steph Curry shooting three free throws. So we just uh, too many uh, lack of discipline examples coupled with everything else, and that's why we got beat pretty good tonight. Coach, you had mentioned back here, Coach. You had mentioned before the game about how much success you had in the regular season getting to the free throw line against these guys. Is there something different about playoff basketball, or is there a different approach that has to be taken by your guys to to get to the line? Well, yeah, I, I think. Um, being more aggressive, playing with an attack mindset, playing in attack mode. Um, you know, we'll watch the film, obviously. Um, Nikola Jokic played 34 minutes and got to the foul line two times. Um, so that's something where we'll look at the film to see what they're doing, because they're doing a really effective job of keeping them off the foul line. Um, and and I, I think there were some times where, you know, um, his, his jersey was getting pulled out a lot. So I don't know. We got to see how they're guarding him and how we can make them pay for how they're guarding him. But overall, Jared, uh, we have to be much more aggressive like they were tonight, and maybe that leads to a lot more than 13 free throw attempts. I was going to follow up on that. Um, I think Joker had 22 shots before he got a foul called against him. It was late in the third quarter. Um, do you think he was uh, not aggressive enough or or – something else going on there no I, I thought Nicola was pretty aggressive I mean he 25 shots 34 minutes I thought he was you know obviously we're going to him and in the post in the high post on the elbows everywhere on the floor uh, I thought there are uh, many examples kids of Nicola being aggressive playing to the basket obviously depending upon who was on the floor for them they guarded him a little bit differently one-on-one -on -one at times and then they brought a double team once in a while um, but, you know, uh, at least from my vantage point prior to watching the film, I felt Nicola was, uh, had the requisite mindset tonight of kind of being aggressive to the rim. Michael, you mentioned the uh, second chance points. You only, they only grab one more offensive rebound to outscore you 12 on second chance points. What's, what goes into getting a stop after they get that offensive rebound? Or are you more concerned with limiting the offensive rebounds? No, that's a really good question because uh, one thing we – in our four head-to-head -head meetings this year, Vinny, they only averaged eight offensive rebounds for eight points. I mean, we did a really good job in the four regular season games. Uh, but we did talk about, you know, rebounding being a key because the number of long shots, long rebounds. But they also are tremendous in terms of turning those offensive rebounds into dagger threes. I mean, Steph Curry, when he shoots a dagger three, I think is at 49% on the season. It's one of the best times to get an open three is on the offensive rebound. So... Uh, to your point, if you do give up the offensive rebound, well, you got to scramble, multiple effort, fly around, find shooters, so we're not just giving up. Uh, because 
again, 10 offensive rebounds is, is a pretty good number. You know, but for that to lead to 20 points is, uh, is not, a, not good enough. Again, the rebounding and the, and the turnovers were very, very costly tonight. Well, what transpired with uh, DeMarcus's first technical and second technical? Yeah, I, um, I, I asked Carlane after the game, you know, why the first technical was called. It happened right in front of me. I did not see or hear DeMarcus do anything from my vantage point that would have required a technical foul to be called. Uh, and I think um, the ensuing one, I guess Scott Foster said he said a few choice words, uh, which warranted the second technical foul. But, um, again, I, I, I did not see or hear anything for that first tech. So you know, that's something that we can look at and, and maybe speak to the league about because, uh, from my vantage point, just didn't seem warranted. Coach, how did they make things tough for Aaron Gordon tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, they're a really good defensive team. I think that's one thing that ha really hasn't been talked about a whole lot. You know, I think during the regular season, um, they were a top five defense. You know, last, uh, you know, closing out the season, they were even more improved on the defensive end of the floor. So, um, you know, we scored 107. A lot of that came late, let's be honest. You know, in that fourth quarter when we scored 37, um, they made it tough for everybody. But, um, you know, we, we go 11 for 35. And uh, we just did not shoot the ball well. And Aaron Gordon is at his best when he's attacking. You know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, we, we don't want to just settle for threes as a team. We want to put pressure on the rim. We want to put pressure on the officials to get to the foul line. And, uh, and I think Aaron, when he plays with that attack mindset, as you know, we all know, um, he's a different player, and he helps take his team to a different level. All right, thanks, everybody.